usually for festivals of this scale. You're always going to get the main stage. It has like the commercial guys that you know can sell the tickets and they can spike the price and stuff. But this is very far for people. You know, far you know people that love techno music and house music, and you know that, that's what I love about Terminal V. I love a Scottish crowd. They just came in, we were like, it's such a good energy, it was so sick. Every time I come to Scotland, I always know the crowd's gonna be full of energy anyway. But you know, today it was just a different level. Uh, oh, mate, it's the best feeling in the world, man. Especially playing to Scottish folk. I, I think it's the best crowd in the world, man. I put the line up on my, on my Instagram, and even like Patrick Topping was like, whoa, that line up is sick. And I was like, my name's there. And I was like, what? If you look at the Terminal V lineup, there's like, 82 international acts. Any DJs I know from kind of Europe or anywhere out, out with Scotland, they think it's like, they think it's such a big deal, so. When I see my name next to Mike Servito, who's one of my heroes, Colonel Kovacs on before him, Luke Sullivan, and then I'm handing over the floor plan, come on, man. Area V is like a massive shed. I felt as if the cargo stage was amazing, man, like, and they used the kind of containers to make it quite compact. It was very industrial. The hangar stage, they had the kind of circle, the circle feature, which was really cool. I seen Nine Things Nine, and they were absolutely killing it, man. So the hangar stage was massive this year. So the, the black box stage is a kind of new stage, so it was kind of dark into it. Sound system was really good. I heard the bouncers all had to kind of link arms because they couldn't let anyone else in the room. So sometimes you're sitting there DJing, and you're like. There's like 5,000 people here and I'm mixing a couple of tracks together and they're all watching. Like you look back at the video clips and there's like, oh, there's f***ing crazy shit going on and there's like strobes and it's like, oh, that, that's the show. They really care about the fans, they care about the artists. Derek and the whole team over at Terminal V really should be proud of what they're, do what they're doing because, you know, not many festivals like this in Europe anymore and I'm proud to be one of the guys that gets to play here, so. I think what they're doing is pushing boundaries. For me, I think Terminal V's pushing things in the right direction, so. The standard of, like, music is really high, I think, here and, and that's what's makes it so great. You have to respect the festival like this when they're putting on a show like this and each stage is busy enough to have a party, do you know what I mean? You just have to respect this place, man. Yeah.